Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the weekly vlog. So here on my channel, I'm going to start doing a weekly vlog. Not all the time, but just sometimes whenever we're doing something fun. So we are actually going hiking and normally I wouldn't be wearing this much makeup. But um, since I'm vlogging, you know, living my best life. But we are going hiking in Red Rock today. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna take you guys along with us. It's gonna be a grand old time, so come along hiking with us. been in a really long time how long has it been like over like a year for you probably a year and a half yeah it's been like a year and a half we used to go hiking like every weekend and then i got really sick so i'm feeling a lot better so let's get back into hiking so let's go hiking hope you guys enjoy <laughs> my head looks so much bigger than your head she goes like my uh because you're like more in front of me hiking gear yeah, no, that's better. Look, look how smaller my head oh, looks. <laughs> that's nice. That is nice. So we're just waiting for my sister and her fiance. We're always waiting. Yeah, we were supposed to leave an hour ago, but they texted us and said, we're running late, we woke up late. So him and I are always on time. So it's just annoying to wait for other people. It's not hard to be on time. It's really not. Word of advice to people, just be on time. Come on. Wake up earlier. I'm tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep, but I can be on time. So you should be on time too. Hey guys, we I'm will out. see you out on the trail, the old beaten trail. The old dusty trail. Oh yeah, the old dusty trail. Hey guys, what's up? So we finally made it to the actual hike. It is only like three hours later than we wanted to be here. We finally met up with August and Anthony hey is down there. Then they have their new dog. So we are gonna go and start hiking. And there's supposed to be like a spring or a creek, right? A creek? Yeah. So let's go ahead and let's go hike. Hey guys, so we finally made it and this hike pretty much kicked my lungs as ass. So if you guys didn't know, probably don't haven't talked about it, but I have like 70 year old lady lungs for some reason. I think it's because I can't breathe through my mouth or I mean through my nose. So I breathe through my mouth and it's like really shallow breaths. So it's hard for me to hike, but uh, we are down by the stream. So we're gonna show you guys the actual little creek. Look at the water. Say hi guys, how's the hike? That looks like a beaver dam. There's August. She's a coming. She's turning into the Hulk. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Where's the beavers? Have me in the house. So now we are just uh, hanging out before we head back down. Are you tired? No. Are you tired, Anthony? Beast mode. He doesn't Go have away. bitch lungs like I do. Go get <laughs> to be young again. You guys like to go hiking? Let me know. 
Do any of you guys live in Vegas and you want to come hiking with me? Let me know. We can hang out. We can chill. We can go hiking. There's bad lighting. Oh, oh. Huh? Hike along the river. No. I'm just gonna sit here and uh, relax at the sound of the water. Is it relaxing for any of you guys? The um, bobbling. I listen to uh, like sleep sounds, and I like to listen to like water running, like ocean waves, and like a stream and stuff. Listen. Makes me have to pee. Makes me super relaxed. So uh, let's just sit here and listen to the sleep sounds and take a nap. Sleep sounds. <laughs> That's what I call it, a sleep sounds. Nature's sleep sounds. Take a nap. Alright guys, I'm going to uh, film going back down since it was not a pretty sight going up because I couldn't even breathe. So you guys don't want to see that, do you? You might, but it's real. I weigh uh, 50 pounds heavier than all of these bitches over here, so. But I'm still out here. It just goes to show you that you guys can do it, even if you try. It might take you a little bit longer than everybody else, but uh, you can achieve it. Anyone can. Just if get out. If you can out. dream it, you can do it. Just get out and be active. So, all right, guys. Let's uh, just film us going back down. It's a really nice out today. Mm -hmm. What's the temperature right now? It's like 65. It's only 65 here in Red Rock. I don't know. It feels Ricky good. Booby. Ricky booby. All right, guys. I will catch you a little bit later. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh, yeah. She does not like water bottles. Yeah, he's like, yo, that was fine. You just made it worse. Uh, yeah, I made it worse. Just call, call her, August. Yes, go. <laughs> oh god, she's full. Is <laughs> <laughs> she good? I'm just hiking down the mountain. It's very bright out here. Oh. Did you guys see what I hiked up? It's like so steep. I hiked up that. Proud of myself. Go me, go me. It's my birthday. <laughs> um, I don't know what he's doing right now. What are you doing? That's awesome. Why are you doing that? Just show me how it looks like. <coughs> just in case oh, there's a mind. just in case there's a sandstorm. I hear I don't know what he's doing. This is the hike that we did. La Madre Mountain Wilderness Area. Just in case you guys were wondering. It's pretty uh, steep uphill. Madre. It was a moderate hike. Very gravelly though. Not my favorite kind of hike. I don't like gravel hikes, it hurts my ankles. But, I have my hiking shoes on. Look, someone drove a car up here. What's happening? It's crazy. Look how pretty it is though, guys. That's all it's like. It's so pretty. It's so nice out right now. This air feels so good. I don't do well with hot weather, which is crazy because I live in Las Vegas, but I like a good 65 degrees. It's good for mama. It's, it's like nice and airy now. And I'm cooling off because I was all sweaty before, so. It's nice. I love the end of a hike. I just feel accomplished. It might take me a while to get up there, you guys, but I did it. I just have to stop a bunch of times because, like I said, I have asthma. 
I do like really bad like on um, like breathing tests and stuff so I should be using an inhaler but I don't I don't know why but I just my lungs can only handle so much especially like with like the altitude and stuff but I'm not gonna give up I just keep on going do my thing and eventually I'll get to the top and then I'll feel very accomplished and the next time it'll maybe be a little bit easier than this time just getting back into the swing of hiking all the time because me and Dan used to go hiking all the time like seriously all the time but then like I said I got like sick one day I'll go into like my whole sickness thing but I got pretty sick and so for like the past two years we haven't really been hiking and now we're gonna try to get back into it at least go like maybe like once or twice every week or so I will eventually probably go into the whole like sickness thing I don't know if you guys are interested in hearing like what happened to me but it's good to get out I'm not gonna let it define my life and let it stop me from doing stuff that I want to do but yeah you guys can beat your illnesses and stuff and not let it define your life and still go out and be active you know and get back into the swing of things it's definitely hard at first but it's definitely rewarding and worth it and then you feel accomplished at the end and just trying to live my best life you guys Whew. straight up tripping look how pretty this is that's so pretty but uh all right, guys, I'm going to catch you later, but um, yeah, that was our hiking day. So I will see you guys a little bit later. Toodles. Welcome back to the vlog. I am the world's worst vlogger. Today is Wednesday, and I think I started this vlog like on Saturday. We are on the Air, the Air Force Base, Nellis. I have this annoying person with me who is just really annoying. You guys will know her as me mother. Me ma. Me mother. <laughs> I call her me ma. But uh, she's uh, struggling with some uh, vertigo. And anyways, I just got back from the hospital. I had a doctor's appointment for them to um, ultrasound my thyroid because I have a nodule on my thyroid and they want to make sure it's not growing. So. Anyways, we are going to go grocery shopping right now because this person over here cannot drive. And so I'm driving Miss Why Lisa. Why can't I drive? She has vertigo, I already said. But I, it's like driving Miss Daisy, but I'm driving Miss Lisa. <laughs> so I will catch you guys. I might vlog a little bit inside <laughs> the store just so you guys can see like what the base looks like and um, what the commissary looks like. So the commissary is a store on base. It's like a grocery store and it's a lot cheaper. Driving back from the commissary. This is the worst angle. <laughs> What's happening? Oh god. Guys, don't look at me. Look away from me. Oh. Why aren't you in the video? Because I look really big in this <laughs> this angle. And we're back. Dan was calling us. So, anyways, I was saying I was at the grocery store on the Air Force Base, and it's no, like I think it's a lot cheaper. So, like when we go grocery shopping, we normally spend about two hundred dollars every two weeks on groceries for Dan and I, which we buy like a lot of like organic grass fed stuff like that. And then, um, do you think it's cheaper on the commissary? I don't know if it's cheaper. I can't tell. That's why I was saying we should do a video about whether it's cheaper or not. At what, Smith? Yeah, like normally, most people shop at like Smith's or Albertson. Albertson's, so I think Smith's is fine, but like do a price comparison. That's what we were talking about. So I think I think she needs to do a price comparison so that you guys can see whether or not it's cheap or not. Especially for those of you that are in the military and you don't live on base. I think it's cheaper. I, I think some cheaper. things are cheaper, but I don't think everything is cheaper because they also give you a surcharge at the end. So it that might take up some of the savings. So they don't charge you tax. All so. I know is when I go to Smith's and pick up like five things, that shit is like fifty dollars. Like what is happening right now? That is a, like a big chunk of my grocery money. 
my toe hurts you guys i'm wearing new shoes today and um i'm getting i'm getting a blister on my toe and it really hurts i'm driving and this is very dangerous my mom is holding the camera i'm not really a car vlogger you don't have the window the you have it on your little GoPro, but yeah, my suction thing. I want to get one that clips right here. For the car, remember I tried to do it on here. No, and it kept falling <laughs> over. She was trying to do it on the steering wheel, and every time it would go over a bump, it would fall off. I was like, uh, give up. It's not, not gonna again. work. I'm over it. So I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but I've been dealing with vertigo for like five years now, and it would come and go, but I always had it. Like depending on how I turn my head or how I hold Am my I neck. No, you're going straight. And we went we went home to to for Christmas up to northern Nevada and it was like gone and I hadn't been dealing with it for like two months straight. I hadn't dealt with it at all. It everything was normal, my head was normal, I felt really good. And then we got home and my husband and I went out to dinner. What's happening? And then um the next morning I woke up and everything was spinning like seriously spinning like like spinning stop saying like Shut <laughs> like totally like totally so what my cookies they're in the back I want one. Um, <clears throat> and that that went on for like two days straight I couldn't even get out of bed it was horrible I mean, I literally was in bed for two days straight just sleeping because I couldn't even open my eyes because it was like, you know how you get like the drunk spins? Like when you're, if you've ever been drunk, you'll know. know what that feels like. Huh? You've never been drunk? I've never had drunk spins. Oh, it's the worst. Anyway, and now I'm still spinning every day. Like right now my whole world is like this <laughs> all the time. That's what it feels like all the time. And especially when we're driving in the car, so like right now, my head is all wumpy. Feels like it's like doing this constantly. When I sit still, it doesn't do it anymore. So I feel like it's trying to get better, but my brain is broke. <laughs> <laughs> my brain is my broke. brain is not know what's going on, and it won't go away. And this has been what? How many weeks now? Three weeks. Mm -hmm. Three weeks I've been dealing with this. Yeah, that's my sad story. <laughs> I'm I'm like really dependent on everybody right now and I know, it's I'm really to is a bummer. Around everywhere. So Amanda's happened to take me to my daughter's like appointment. She's my chauffeur. But she's like a backseat driver. She needs to shut up and just let me drive. <laughs> she's the worst. Uh you need to turn. I'm like, dude, no I don't. Like calm down. <laughs> she's like, that car's near you, it's nowhere near me. Cause her like death perception's all jacked up. We're just getting our groceries. I can't though. Last one. The worst part of grocery shopping is bringing in the freaking groceries. Yeah, true that. <gasps> it's the worst. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, do the obstacle course that we got to go we through have in, the an in the garage. My husband's my obstacle course. Dad likes to have a garage exercise gym. So that's how you get here. Okay, wait, you gotta get away from the squishy mat on the bottom. Come on. Band it, get in here. <sighs> we made it. That's my cardio for the day, guys. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and show you guys everything that we got from the commissary. The first thing we got was Zevia. Zevia is a really good keto drink, like an alternative to soda. So she, my mom's going back on keto soon, so she wanted to start stocking up on her keto supplies. So Zevia is made, it's actually sweetened with Stevia. So this is pretty good. We like to have these. The cream soda one's really good, the root beer one's really good, and then she actually likes the ginger ale one. So we got that, we got some Fiji water, we got a six pack, we got some Yoplait yogurt. They're one yogurt. liter. Yeah, one liter of Fiji water. We got an eight pack of the Yoplait strawberry yogurt. 
We've got some organic zucchinis, two packs of those. We have some raspberries. The raspberries are actually a really good keto snack, a nice dessert. So we have these all the time. It's 10 raspberries for only one carb, which is a great dessert. You can do it with like some keto whipped cream. So it's always good to have these in your keto stash. Then she got some of these little cottage cheese and like fruit cups. My dad likes to have them for breakfast. She got four of those. We have some hash browns and my, my sister and her boyfriend like these. We have a little iceberg garden salad mix. We have a one, one and a half pound block of craft cheese, a hefty one. We got some Parmesan cheese, just a regular pack, six ounce cheese. We have a big bottle of the Sweet Baby Ray's. This is actually a really good barbecue sauce if you guys are on keto. It is the sugar-free maple brown sugar by G Hughes. This is actually a really good barbecue sauce. It is only two carbs for two tablespoons. So this is actually a good staple for barbecue sauce if you're keto. These are some peas and they are the sad peas. I feel like if she mur it's like they got murdered too young. It says young, very young, small, sweet peas. So like, that's really sad. Why did she buy these? I feel like she murdered some baby peas. It's like the veal of peas. <laughs> Makes me really sad. <laughs> Then They're plants. She has some blue cheese by Marzetti. This is really good dressing. We have some sour cream, some crescent rolls because my sister really likes them. Obsessed by them. But she's obsessed with them apparently. <laughs> we have some oregano, some capers. There's a story to go along with capers with my mom. So <laughs> she made some like- Chicken scallopini. Chicken scallopini and it was supposed to have capers in it. Well, last time she made it, uh, we're all getting, we all sat down to eat and all of a sudden I take a bite of my food and I'm like, why is this spicy? And she's like, what? I'm like, these capers are spicy. They taste like pepper balls. And she's like, no, they're capers. Because they looked exactly like capers. Well, come to turn out they were actually like peppercorn something. Peppercorn peas, what are they? Green peppercorns. Green and I, peppercorns. I just grabbed them. I'd never seen green peppercorns before. So they look, look, show them. So in my defense, these <laughs> are the peppercorns. And these are the capers. They look the same. I just did not read the label. I just grabbed them thinking they were so capers. Spicy pepper balls. Don't buy those unless you like spicy. And she got some pineapple cups for my dad. For then breakfast. My brother is a vegetarian or a pescatarian. So these are really good little meats that he can make like a stir fry or whatever for himself. Then we have some Jason's toothpaste. This is actually really good toothpaste. I don't believe in fluoride. So this is the fluoride free sea fresh strengthening paste. It's really, really good. Your breath feels really fresh. I feel like it keeps mine better than regular toothpaste because so, it like goes on your teeth really good. I love this toothpaste. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. Then we have some dark magic coffee or green mountain coffee. So she got four packs of this. Dark magic and vanilla. And vanilla. And then she has some Bubba Burgers, which are the grass-fed ones. These ones are actually really good. I'm not normally a fan of like frozen burgers, but these are actually really good. Then she got some fajita stuff because like I said, she is dealing with her vertigo. So it's right now it's hard for her to cook. So she got some easy meals to help cook for my dad when he gets home from work. Then she got a pulled pork from Jack Daniels. Then we have some beef fajita stuff. Move on. It's true. I know. Say it. It is true. She said that she normally cooks everything from scratch, but she does. So she feels weird buying yes. stuff that she doesn't normally it buy. It feels really weird. She's fine. I'm not then used to she it. She got some bone in baby back ribs, which were. How much are they? 10 bucks. 10 bucks? How many pounds? So. Nine something. Nine dollars and something. Mm, that's three and a half pounds. Then she got some bogogi meat for like stir fry or whatever she wants it for. That's what I use it for, is for the stir fry. And she, that was $5.01. Then you have the tri-tip roast, which tri-tips are really expensive. I've noticed at like regular grocery stores. And this is a two pan tri-tip for only $10.08. So it's a great deal. And then lastly, she got a really great deal on some chicken. She got five, four packs of boneless, skinless, thin sliced chicken. And it was around like two eighty five dollars per one of the actual chickens. And then she had 40 cents off of each one of these packs of chicken. So it ends up being like less than $2.40 per pack of chicken, which 
that's a great deal. Most of these were already $6, which is still a great deal for anyway, chicken. Anyway, yeah. Because normally at Smith's, you're gonna pay like $10 and up for a pack of chicken. So these ones were only $5.90 to begin with, and then $2.40 after the coupon that was on it. Then the last thing she bought was a pack of chicken wings, and they were $7.76 for the whole pack of chicken wings. So that was everything that she bought at the commissary. Good morning, guys. So today is Monday. I'm on my way to the gym. So it is 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm on my way to the gym, and I thought I would go ahead and end the vlog here. I am the world's worst vlogger. I'm not used to doing a weekly vlog, so I continually forget. So I started this vlog last Saturday, and now it is Monday. So it did go a little bit longer than I wanted to, but that's okay. We will get better at vlogging. Um, I look like a crazy person, but I don't care because I'm not going to the gym to impress anyone. So I'm just wearing my Stay Strong shirt, just some camo, like workout pants from Torrid. So yes, I'm on my way to the gym. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully there was enough content. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys actually liked it. And I will continue to do vlogs if you guys want. I'll do one like once a month. Or if you guys really, really want one, then I'll try to do one once a week. It's just really hard for me to remember to do it. So I just need to get my life together. So if you guys did like this, then please go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Come along, come hang out with us on my channel. We have a lot of fun and I love, you know, interacting with you guys and it's just awesome. We have a lot of new subscribers and then hopefully we'll be at the thousand mark really soon. So that's awesome. Once we hit a thousand, you guys know we are doing a, I'm doing a thousand subscriber giveaway. I'm gonna give away a hundred dollar gift card to Torrid. So definitely go, I'll link the video down in the description box. So if you haven't already entered, you guys are already subscribed. So go on and enter my giveaway. Hit the notification bell because you'll get notified when I post videos. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. And as always, remember, be your own kind of beautiful and toodles for now. Today's vlog is brought to you by Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. We didn't even buy Frosted Flakes. It's like some Blair Witch shit going on right there. It's creepy. I'm done. I don't want to hike anymore. I'm tired. My lungs hurt. I feel like I'm going to cough up blood. Don't <laughs> be a baby. <coughs> okay. Annoying! Oh, wow. Okay, guys.